Vampire, sucking the blood of the sufferers. Yeah. Uh -huh, my people, we've come again. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, thanks for all the birthday wishes. Thanks for all the birthday wishes, guys. And the person I'm trying to <laughs> have an appointment with, since he didn't come, let me sing him my song. I sing, I sing uh, 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 to the cowards. On your marks, guess it. Let us go. On your marks, guess it. Let us go. Heavenly race. I know go tie. Heavenly race. I know go tie. They don't run again, no. Guys, please, no kidding. No, we are not fighting. We are not quarreling. If you think you want to defend him, or you come now, your your member has run away. Your member has talked tail and run away. Uh -huh. I sabi am I sabi am si am yeo ngalano ane shiri agogomba. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you for the birthday wishes. You catch your leg again. My people, let me tell you something, our guys. When you see people who can't debate, you just know that they are full of shit. They are full of shit, and it will be best if people focused on only what they know and don't try to dabble into things you don't understand. You see why we are coming here every day to teach our people and educate them on what white supremacy is and the effect of the white supremacy form of education. Okay? <laughs> hey, my brother, follow me, ask them. Oh. Follow me, ask them. It's good that people are exposing themselves for the empty shells they are. Guys, no quarrel, no insult. Please, if you want to defend what Nam Dekano said about black people in Africa needing to apologize to uh, 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 black Americans, please come on now. I, for the benefit of uh, those people that uh, <laughs> didn't want to leave, lose any brain cells by listening to him, I'm going to play it and I will play it in full context. I'm going to play the video and play it in full context. Please, it is still a debate. Anyone that wants to come on, tell me. I will send you the link. You come here. We debate it. Okay? I hate it when people make noise from the sidelines. I keep telling you, no insult, no offense. Again, this is not an attack on IPOB or Biafra. This is a personal attack on the person of Nam Dikano. He doesn't know black history. Either he doesn't know it or the people who are feeding him, the people he's working for. Because it's now obvious that he is willing to lick the ass of the Europeans. And to do that, he is willing to insult, the denigrate the, his, the memories of our ancestors who died fighting the British. Please, if Nam Dekano doesn't know black history, let him go and I will, I will give him people in America who will teach him, who will educate him on black history. Please. It's high time we stopped insulting. You want to debate? Joyfully, if you okay, please send me your number here, and I will, I will, I'm coming. Okay, those of you that that want to debate, I'm coming. Let me put the number. This is the number. You can either use this number or use plus. Either use zero zero nine or plus nine. Please take the take it now and come. Meanwhile, I will be talking because some of you will say you are debating and we'll be wasting our time. I've, I've, I've seen it several. I have seen it several. This one is not going to be an exception. It is not going to be an exception. They will want to debate. 
please see the link here. Let me post the link. Send me your number and I will send you the link. Send me the, your number, I will send you the link to uh, uh, the studio and you will come on. Okay? I will send you the link, you will come on. It is that simple. The person that wants to debate, please send, text me and I will send you the link. Oh, who is this one? Say you should be ashamed of yourself. Be ashamed of your father, okay? Be ashamed of your father that you don't even want to have a healthy debate to know whether you are being fed the truth or not. Vet everything from anyone, including me. Vet anything from everything, not also just anything. Vet everything from everyone. Chibuzi will text me. I cannot be texting you on WhatsApp. With, uh, uh, yeah, I'm busy. I'm in the studio. You text me and I will send you the link. It's very simple. Okay? You may not be able to get the, the, the link from here. Let me post the link. This is the link. This is the link. Please. Follow the link and come. Okay. Oh, it's like you have uh, you have someone. Hello. 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 Okay, okay. Let me send you the link. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we have someone uh, already. Let me send the person the link. Hold on, guys. Don't tell me that I'm misquoting someone because I'm going to play everything he said here, please. Don't accuse me of misquoting someone. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't misquote people, please. We are in a public setting and I have lots and lots of enemies who are waiting for me to make a mistake. For that reason, for that reason, I will not say nonsense, okay? Let me... Uh, uh, send the brother the link. I'm coming. Okay. I've sent him the link now. So, while you are waiting for him, I will, no need of uh, posting the link again. So, let me just carry on. If it's not, don't stop asking me uh, 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 stupid questions. What truth? You come on here. Okay? Guys, ever since I joined the Pan-African movement, ever since I woke up, I realized myself, like getting conscious, I've always known lots of things before now. But ever since I got conscious, I've got to meet brothers and sisters uh, from the Americas our brothers and sisters in the diaspora and in every case whenever you see them have a disagreement with us is because they still believe that we showed them okay no insult you are not insulting anyone no any uh -huh. my brother chica come with your video open your camera i cannot uh, take you on audio no you have to you have to see your face we have to see your face. Don't uh, I'm not I'm not going to bring you here if your face is not showing. In every occasion, when you go there, you will hear them say that they hate us because we showed them. Guess who showed them that story, that false history? The same white people who enslaved them. Now ask yourself: Will someone who enslaved you tell you the real truth about how the thing happened? Hmm. Your lack of a good diction. How about you step in here and correct me, you fucking bastard. You moron, how about you step in here? Your diction, look at how you're, you are sounding flat. You are sounding flat. I have more vocabularies than you. Multiply your vocabularies by 10. I, I, I still have a, a, a more sophisticated vocabulary than you. How about you come on here and show yourself you are answering or onsi or dunze. You don't even know how to write your name. Foolish idiot. 
I'm not your name, the Kanu that is hiding behind the camera to read what they wrote for him, okay? I am speaking a foreign language, a second language, or if it could be a third language to me, watching the comment section and processing with my brain. You want to challenge me? Come on here, you bastard. So, my people, why would someone who enslaved you give you an accurate history, an accurate representation of history? Why would that happen? Huh? Why would the person do it? You are looking for cheap popularity and you're here giving it to me. Are you not stupid? Guys, let me play that video. Let me play uh, the audio of uh, what uh, Nam Dekanu said. I I'm not going to put words in his mouth. Let me let me play it for all of us to hear it. I'm coming, guys. Don't worry about those people that are typing nonsense. They won't type again, you know. <laughs> I've blocked him. Okay. Okay. Guys, I will... Okay, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, 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 misquote him or put him, put, hold on. I don't want to take him out of context. Okay, I'm starting, hold on, let me start at the one hour and the 2050 minutes. Okay, I'm coming. I'm starting at the one hour and the 24th minute 57 seconds of his life of his yesterday's uh, 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 show okay let me play it now for our people to hear just hear what he said so you don't accuse me of misrepresenting his views i am going to play the whole thing here you hear it now let's go Useless as um, as the zoo itself. They are now paying bandits to be able. They are paying for another terrorist to be able to go and look for something to eat in Nigeria with a president, with a vice, with his family staff. Are you not daft? Are you not? I, 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 why won't I speak to you anyhow? Because you behave like a, like a fool. I want me to give you respect. How is that possible? I'm asking. How is that possible? seen the straw man's argument if there is no buyer no seller would there be any buyer okay how about you turn it around if there is no buyer would there be a seller but that is not I, i'm not going to descend uh, to that level okay i am not going to descend to that level that peach that 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 uh, peaks that peaks level i'm not going to do that 
What year did this happen and what year is he talking about? Huh? Show me the black people who built their ship, especially, I'm talking about Igbos now and West Africa. Show me the black West Africans that built a slave ship that was transporting slaves from Africa to London, to Liverpool, to Manchester. Huh? He is talking about when the British were already in our land and people like his father and his ancestors, remember, remember, the British gave these people guns. All these people you call warrant chiefs. Remember the British would have to trust you to make you a warrant chief. That means he is foisting his own reality, the reality of his family upon us. Nnamdikanu, your father was a warrant chief. My, your great-great-grandfather was a warrant chief. My great-great-grandfather was a warrior. So he found out that we are on, 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 on both sides of uh, the, on the opposing sides of the slavery, of the transatlantic slave trade. Your father, your ancestors worked with the people that sold our people, that stole our people from our land. And they were the ones that were telling the white men, hey, this one is a doctor. This one is an engineer. This one is an artisan. You take him. Remember the first slaves they were taking were the people who they were used to work. Not just all these ones that work in plantations. No. The ones that educated them, that taught them sciences, medicine. Please, go do your research. Whatever the Europe, the, the, the most, uh, the first, the foremost European civilization is the Greek civilization. And the Greeks learned from Africans, black people. Remember where the map of Africa used to stop before they built this, this uh, uh, artificial Suez Canal. Where you call Africa today, to where you call Israel, to this area used to be part of africa that was not east africa where you call the middle east today that is why you go to mesopotamia you go to babylon you go to persia you see black people who are originally from there not slaves not slaves Okay? They were the ones that taught the Greeks. You see all these ones they told you, Arisoto, this and that, that. No, 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 no. They weren't even the first Greeks, the foremost Greeks that got educated by Africans. The place Alexandria of, Alexander of Macedonia renamed Alexandria. Do you know what the place used to be called before? All these names they adopted and gave it to their places in America, like Memphis. Do you know where Memphis is? Do you know where Memphis is? Huh? So, from time in memoria, and do you know when Africans mapped the world? More than 3,000 years ago, we've mapped the world, and where you get the ancient maps, all the ancient maps of Africa, who stole it? Who destroyed Timbuktu? You think the first slaves they were taking were all these dummies that they were using to uh, 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 as oxes? Basically, animals to work their farms. No, if the people they made their. Why, why, why do you think they made them kings? Because they needed the locals to work with. They needed the locals to work with. And the locals are the ones that turned out to be your kings, from warrant chiefs to kings. So, Kanu, yes, your family, your ancestors owe black Americans and blacks in South and North America apology. You owe them apology, not me. No, we were warriors. We were fighting them. We fought them until they left. 
and they gave you people guns, they gave you people cannons with which to suppress your people. Just like you see white people, they will be telling you, hey, we need to apologize to black people. No, 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 no. It is the white ruling class. And we don't need the apology. We need reparation. And it has to start with them leaving our continent first because the people that brought the slave ships are still there. I will show you the video. I'm coming. Go and check along the Ethiopian Ocean Coast. Along the Ethiopian coast, what you call Atlantic Ocean used to be called Ethiopian Ocean. They had more than 40 trading routes. They had more than 40 trading routes. When you go to that place today, the entire Gulf of Guinea, which used to be called Bites of Biafra. And guys, the map you people put on your wall and you say this is where Biafra is. Go and check where that place is. It's not even in the present day Nigeria. You are killing your own argument by yourself. Go to all the 40 trading posts they had then. Go there now. I I'm telling you, the same people are still controlling it till date. So when you are talking about the people, black people who ran slavery, when are we talking about? What year? Give me the timeline. Was it before or after these people came? Then after these people came, how did they begin to, how did it start even? You find out that it's the same people, the, the white people empowered, the Europeans gave guns. They gave them guns, gave them cannons, and it's usually strong men. I keep telling you, go and check the old photos of all these kings. Some of them, when you look into their family, you will see over fair-skinned people in their family. Why? They were having sex with their own children. They were giving the white men their children. They were making babies with them. Go and check it. This is real history. This is real history I, I'm giving you. Nam Dikano, please, if you don't know history, please focus on talking about Buhari and his left ear. Focus on looking at the left ear and leave African history the hell alone. You don't know what you're talking about. Or, or the Europeans you are running to are the ones telling you what to say. And this thing you are saying, a white man could have said it so easily. A white man could have said this thing. This is the history the white people gave us. And it's the same history they gave the slaves. That is, after over 370 years, they stopped them from writing and reading. Two slaves who speak the same language cannot stay in the same plantation. They had to separate them. A woman will give birth to six kids. They will all be sold to six different people. For over 300 years, they weren't allowed to read or write. By the time they could read and write, they whitewashed the whole history and give it and give it to them. Now they passed it down to their people. Do you know why they did that? Because when they know they grow with that false history, there will be disunity amongst them because they know that one day these people will see, meet all these people there. So you don't unite. Are you seeing how they concocted the whole history? And someone who calls himself a leader of the supposed most intelligent black nation on earth is spewing this nonsense on air. Go check how many views that video has. How many people do you think he has indoctrinated with that, that teaching alone. That false teaching alone. Again, I go back to white people. White people don't owe us anything. The white ruling class that runs slavery owe us everything. Just like the black ruling class. Your kings, your exes, your igways. Now ask yourself, if 
which was a part of our culture. Why do you think? Wait, let me deal with this one. Why do you think? Sorry. If it was white, a part of our culture, why do you think that after the white people left, all the people who were trading in humans, the human traders, why were they ostracized? Why were some of them killed? Do you know that most of them were buried alive with their families? Why? Because it was an atrocity. It was an atrocity that they committed. They sinned against the land by selling their own brothers and sisters to the white people. Then the kings who had money, gold, and everything had to bring in some people. That is how you have all this, your council of chiefs, all the others. Those people are warlords. They were warlords. Kingship was never a part of us. It was never a part of our culture. And I'm not surprised that Nam Dekano doesn't know it. It's either he doesn't know it or he is denying reality because he doesn't want his family to be exposed. Guys, nobody should touch that button. Nam Dekano shouldn't push it. If he tries, see, it's like the son of uh, 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 the Sultan of Sokoto, maybe the Sultan of Sokoto now, we say we have to apologize to our people we sold to the Arabs. Hey, your family did it. You people should go and apologize, not the entire Fulani people, not the entire Hausa people. You cannot tell me that I would I would have to apologize for what your own your own ancestors did. I am not going to apologize for what your ancestors did. You owe them an apology because your father was a warrant chief. Bring the name of the first governor general that signed that document that made your great great grandfather a warrant chief. Now we will go back and check. We find out that this is the person. That came here to take a, 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 a charge of, a, of, 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 of the whole place, of the operation on behalf of the British monarchy or the Rothschilds, especially from if you, if you are from the northern part of Nigeria. The Emir of Guandu, the Emir of Guandu used to sign his receipt with what? The seal on the Israeli flag, what you call the Star of David. That is the Star of Rothschild. How come the people who are Muslims were signing this thing with the Star of David? Huh? How come My people, how? Doesn't that show you that something is amiss? Just like today, the Saudi monarchy will never criticize the state of Israel. Why? Because the same people armed the Al Saud family to defeat all other, other tribes, other Bedouin tribes around them. And they created a, called, a country they called Saudi Arabia. Now, with the Wahhab family, they the Al Saud family will be ruling politically. Now the religious side will go to the Wahhab family. That's why that's where Wahhabism came from. Everything is about class. The ruling class of the West came into our place, armed some people, made them chiefs, warrant chiefs. Now they became kings and Igwe. Do you know the meaning of Igwe? The meaning of Igwe is not a, a, a ruler. Go and learn Igbo etymology. Eze does not mean a king. Means rich or powerful. The 
Guys, it's time we it's high time we learnt our history. It's high time we learnt our history. And somebody we will people like Malcolm X died. Stokely Carmichael died. Louis Farrakhan is almost at the at the exit door. Teaching this history day after day to make sure that we unite the those in, in at home and those in diaspora. And someone is here spewing the same white supremacy history and we are supposed to shut up because he promised you all uh, uh, unicorns. Tell me what someone will promise you to make you denigrate yourself to the level of spewing the same white people's talking points. Tell me. What sort of freedom will deny you of your existence and identity. Can you tell me that? I, I'm coming. Let me show you what I mean. I'm coming. Let me get let me get a video ready. Okay. I want to show you something. So next time when someone is, is, is talking, you equip yourself with, arm yourself with the right information. I am going to go out. Okay, I will stay like this. It's better. My people, just watch this. These are the names of the slave ships the captains, the principal owners, the number of African slaves they stole, and their destinations. I will show you that. And remember, the British Navy that ran that operation. That's why Britain is the only country where the Navy is, is superior to the army. Why? They are their, 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 their elite force. The pirates that used to raid across the oceans and the seas, we are brought in by the British royal family and the aristocracy, who, by the way, are the, your bankers. The British aristocracy and the British monarchy. The same powers of Europe run all those things with the, with, 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 with the criminals, the pirates. They're now called the Navy. You will see everything here. I'm coming. Peace family. This is Jalada. We're at the Museum of London. This is name of ship. Maria Hannah Concord, Commerce, Earl of Effingham, Bessoy, Irish, Mentor, John, Isabella, Duke of Buckler, Struggler, Cadiz Dispatch. This Cadiz is, is in Spain to show you that these are the same people. See this one again. Gary, Spy, Mary. London. And um, this is a list that has, first of all, the name of the ship, the tons of the ship. I'm a Captain Anderson, e block me. These are the families that need to apologize. These are the families. This is the names of the captains. And when you talk about a captain, you're talking about the head criminal, the head of the gang, the head of the maruders. Watch these names. These are the people that should be held responsible. You see this name? This Captain Anderson. This James Anderson. Watch all these things. I am going to show you a familiar name. And those of you from Bayasa State and River State, you will back me up on this when I will mention that name. Midway, the name of the captain. See a Captain Anderson right there. It always throws me when I see my last name on things. Now, this is, these are the principal owners. John McNeil, jo, John Lear, John Anderson. Watch it. What's the names of the principal owners? The principal owners of the ships. The principal owner of the ship, John McNabb. McNabb sounds familiar, almost like it's something to do with Mississippi for some yes, reason. Yes, yes. And this, this is the year. 1790, 1790, 1790, 1791. Watch. 
This is the year. The cleared port of London on that particular date. They cleared the port of London. This is just for London. Oh. 1790. The next is embarked enslaved Africans. So it tells for the person that is telling me I should have accepted the challenge, I accepted the challenge. He ran away in case they haven't told you. He ran away. Okay. This is where they are coming from. This is Gambia. They call it Gambra. Cape Coast Castle. This is in Ghana. People in Ghana, please, you know this place. Banche Island. This Banche Island is somewhere in Sierra Leone today. Well, what you call American rice today is Banche rice. When they were coming, they were going to Banche to steal people. Those people they were stealing are the rice farmers. Now you know why there was hunger in Africa. Because they stole all the farmers and took them to their place. People from Sierra Leone and Africans start researching on your own history. Start going to places in West Africa alone. Educate yourself. So nobody will come and deceive you with any nonsense. Watch it. Popo, Bonnie, this is Bonnie Island. Anom Anomabu, Gambia, Banche Island, Gambia, Gabon. This is the trading post they left. They began their journey from. Not just free time in Sierra Leone. Okay? To the place where they loaded the Africans on to the ships. And then it tells you the number. Now, they don't know the number of people they put here. Here is 201, 200, 166, 61. Not known, not known. 290, 239. And mind you, they were doctoring the number, so... They used to stop at or, or at the high sea and transfer some slaves to the people they are selling illegally. You know how they are selling illegal oil now? That is the same way they were selling illegal slaves on the high sea. They are not taking all of them to the final destination. So these numbers are doctored. Then from there, see where they will take them. Jamaica, 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 St. Vincent, Jamaica, Jamaica, St. Vincent, Dominica. Jamaica, Granada, Jamaica, Granada, Granada. Now you know why these people gave the Zia and Alice Madrid. Guys, this is read history, study history. This is these are the people that gave the Zia and Alice Madrid a diplomatic passport. For that reason, Nigeria will never arrest him, let alone extradite him, arrest her, let alone extradite her. All you noisemakers in the comment section, are you even paying attention or are you going to keep burying your head in the sand and pretend you are not seeing what I'm showing you? Huh? Huh? Of enslaved Africans that were on the ship mm -hmm. and in the destination of the ship. So if we go across just from the top line, we have the name of the ship. The first line is Maria. It weighed 146 tons. Uh -huh. The captain of the ship was Captain Anderson. And the principal owner of the ship was John McNabb. And it cleared the port of London. So it came through London on the 29th of June, 1790. It embarked enslaved Africans, meaning it loaded Africans from Gambra. And they don't know how many Africans were actually loaded onto the ship. The destination of that particular ship on that particular day was the island of Jamaica. Here's another one that says name of ship. Name of ship, John, Eagle, Iris, Concord, Mary. I don't know that this one is called Duke of Forever. Mary, Fly, Union, Gambia, Nancy, Queen, Concord, Prince, Rattler. Was John, the ton of the ship was 120 tons. The captain was named G. Now, focus on this name, Geohali Button. Those of you who've worked in the oil sector in Nigeria, offshore, even onshore, this name, Halibutton, Geohali Button, 
He is the patriarch of the Halliburton war, 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 war mongers. The same Halliburton that pushed for the war in Iraq, that benefited from the war in Iraq. When they invaded Iraq in 2000, even in Afghanistan, the same war profiteers, have you seen it that it is not something new? It has been the same people from time in memoria. Halliburton, those of you from Bayasa State, those of you from River State, all your big kings, when you go there, you will see a picture of Joe Halliburton there. True or false? Today, Halliburton is the biggest player in the Nigerian energy industry. Go quote me anywhere. Do you know why the Halliburton scandal in Nigeria did not yield any fruit? Because they are working for the people that own Nigeria. Okay? Geo Halliburton, those of you from Bayasa and River States, please back me up on this. There is no rich king in that place that doesn't know who this man is or who he was or what this last name stands for. Did you think G Julius Bega is a huge company in Nigeria? No. Halliburton, the, the, the people at Julius Bega are begging these people for, for job. They are begging them for contracts. They are begging them for contracts. Watch where they are. Watch. Halliburton. Uh, Halliburton. <laughs> and the principal owner is William. See the Harrell. principal owner. It cleared the court of March 17, 1794. So please, guys, go tell Nam the Colonel that he should go learn his history. He doesn't know Jack. When I tell you, I give you evidence. When I tell you, I give you evidence. Guys, please use any device you have there. Click on Halliburton and the rack. I'm not talking about 1794. I'm talking about 2003. Halliburton in Iraq. Google it and see what comes up. Google it and see what comes up. So are you, what is happening in Iraq now? Are all the Americans going to uh, apologize to the Iraqis? No, 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 no. It is those people they should be heading straight to the International Criminal Court. Just like every warrant chief that ever lived in our land. Now you know why they will always be working with the government of the British. Their lives depend on the British ruling monarchy. Because they will just drop the whole truth on the table and it will be, it, they will be done for. I don't care where you are from. Are you from northern Nigeria, from southern Nigeria? If your ancestors work with the British, don't be surprised that they don't open their mouth and say anything against the British. Okay? Okay, my people. Are you get guys? Are you getting it? Hey, hey, hey! Nam the can again. Please focus on Buhari. Leave Black History alone. Two times you've tried. Two times you've failed. If you are not willing to go meet people who will teach you Black History, stop talking about it. Focus on Jubri Al Sudan. No matter how absurd that Jubri Al Sudan sounded. It is better than this thing you are doing. You are just embarrassing yourself and insulting us. You are insulting us. You are embarrassing the black race. How are we going to mend fences with these black Americans that are supposed to join hands with us to bring these people down? What do you think you are doing? What do you think? You're, and those of you that are saying, tell him I said that he ran away from the debate, not me. Let him put me there. I will beat him like a drum. I will repeat it. I will teach him history. I will teach him commerce. Okay? I will teach him politics. How would you make such a blunder? Why would This is an error. It's no longer a mistake. 
This is an error. The lives of the, the future of billions of people is at stake. It was the people they made kings. The people they made warrant chiefs that were selling their own people. That was why they had prisons in their palaces. Go and check it. Black people, Igbos, especially, we don't have any prison system. Our, mod, our mod, model of justice is fast and swift. If it's a capital offense, they kill you immediately, you go. You commit a sacrilege, you are going. We didn't have prisons in our system. Stop this nonsense. I don't know how much the Israelis are paying you or what they have on you. I don't know what they have on you that is making you spew this rubbish. You are trying to destroy the works people have tried to build. The works people did for centuries. Frederick Douglass will be turning in his grave hearing that nonsense. Marcus Gavi will be turning in his grave. Harriet Tubman will be turning in her grave. Hearing that nonsense, white people gave their lives for black people to know what we know today, especially the, the hidden history. Not, uh, they, uh, they are not the ones that gave us any education on, on, on medicine, sciences. No, 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 no. We've been scientists before they came. You want Biafra not right around. Wouldn't you even want it? Or, uh, in, in, wait, hold on. What does that even mean? So because we want Biafra, we are going to accept to be animals. We are going to accept to be, to, to be what they say we are. Savages. Is that what you call us? Is slavery in Igbo culture? Tell me. If slavery was a part of Igbo culture, why did those people run after the white people left? Huh? Why did the people who participated in slavery run after the white people left? If there are people who should apologize to black Americans, is the descendants of all these warrant chiefs? No, 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 be us, no, be we. Do not pin it on my own ancestors. No, we died fighting those people. We died opposing your ancestors and their. European masters and this history is repeating itself again before our very eyes. Some people still want me to keep quiet about it. Why? Because you promised me a, a paradise. Any freedom that is built on lies is not freedom, it's enslavement masquerading as freedom. I am not going to accept it. Young man, the kind who made himself a sitting target. Young man, the kind who made himself a sitting target. Yes. Yes. Guys, please vet anything you hear from people. All of you, where are you people? Are you no longer prepared for the debate? Step in here and be embarrassed. The other person called. I said, you must, you must come with your photo. He, he, he ran away. Why are you? Please, it's cowardice, the, 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 the yastic to belong to your organization. Huh? Why do you people always call for debates and you run away from your leader to the list? How about you admit that you don't know it? You are going to do your research on it.
Wait, let me see. I'm coming. Okay. I don't care how you feel about it. I will tell you the truth anytime, any day. Type again. Okay. I'm coming, guys. In Igbo land, we have a healthy debate. In Igbo land, we don't accept anything you tell us. No, no, no. We will question you. We will question you. When they say Igbos don't like themselves, I find it hard to believe. But it is somehow true. Even as Soweri was fighting the government, then guys, go sit down. Go, go and sit down. This is this is this is a weak person's argument. This is a weak person's argument. Why didn't black people who went to Brazil, who went to the Americas long before the, uh, 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 the Europeans were there? Why didn't they come back with slaves? Why didn't they come back with slaves? Do you know how many Africans that went to the Americas before Christopher Columbus? Do you know? I'm shouting, no, no, you are you are angry that I'm exposing your so-called your so-called intelligent leader. He knows nothing about black history. Quote me anywhere. Tell him that the debate, I, I'm still waiting for his reply on his debate. Put me on the best day with him. I'll floor him in two minutes. One question. One question. Why would you be using Igbo people to, to seek political relevance and I'm not allowed to answer you? Is your name maybe Are you mad? Stop talking about black people and I'll quit talking about you. I am not accepting any calls. If you want me to bring you in, send me, send me, text me on WhatsApp. I will send you the link. You come on here. Send me the send me your WhatsApp number. Text me on WhatsApp. I will send you the link. You come on here on video. I want your people to be seen see, to to see you as you make a fool out of yourself. Come on, come here on video. I want to see you on video. I want to see you on video. Come on, video. Be here. Let your people in the village, eh, home and abroad, let them see you for the fool you are. Come and defend this. Defend this. I want to watch you defend this one. Eze and Igwe does not mean ruler. Go and learn Igbo language. Go learn how to write in ECBD. It will explain these things even further. Can we stop this nonsense? Can we stop this rubbish? If you don't know it, how about you shut up and stick to what you know? Many IPOB guys are still in prison right now. Is there any place we will go now, log on on the internet and see the names of the IPOB people that are still in prison and the prisons they are, they are, they are being held in? Is there any database? How about their families, their children? How many of them are being taken care of? Some people are telling me jealousy. Jealous of what? Not if Biafra would have come, believe me, I would be there before him. I would be there before him. Again, ask IPOB Turkey, they will tell you that I turned down their offer of anchoring their media team. Yes, ask Noble. I 
are we going to accept a false a, a, a false premise about our history or because someone promised to stay, take us to heaven in a flaming chariot huh my people tell me how many ipob people are in prison how, what have we done to help them Look at what the Borunu state governor is doing. Look at a primary school. I posted it. Some of you are saying, hey, he has been paid. But paid by who? No, I want to shame my governors to make them work. So between you and I, who do you think is doing more for Igbo people? A governor fighting insurgency is building schools, ultra-modern schools, and in our place that is relatively peaceful, the most peaceful place in Nigeria right now. The most peaceful place in, okay, South-South is more peaceful somehow. But their security is porous. Their security is porous. Hold on, guys. Let me take care of uh, some morons. Mm -hmm. Call you up. Uh, how many times will I see the link again? Take the, follow the link. Come on. It is very easy. This is the link. Come on. Come on. Foolish people. I'm not an Americano that will offer to debate people and run away. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Even the one that asked me to send the link, have you seen? He blocked his father. Watch it. He blocked his father. Cowards. 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 Coward. Wait, let me take care of all these, all these, uh, all these, all these bastards. You morons. Because you want followers, Mumu. If I want followers, I will be shouting all hey Biafra. That is what all these people are doing to you people. I will be shouting, oh, holy, holy, Nandikano, he's another savior. You people will feel here. Set your master with me. I will beat him like a drum. I, if I don't defeat him in a debate, I delete this page. I will delete this page. Fools. Every time he keeps stumbling. Every time, every given time. Every given time. Every given time. Keep making a fool out of himself. Keep making a fool out of himself. Morons. You expect the the son the son of a warrant chief to tell you the truth about slavery? Are you are you are you that stupid? Are you joking? Are you joking? Please, any other person that wants to come on, tell me, send me, send me uh, 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 your this thing. I'll send you the link. You come on here. Because this one, they can't debate. They can't. They only come here to make noise and rant. Fools. Fools everywhere. You don't know black history. Shut the fuck up and learn. And stop hiding. Stop hiding. What? Who are you hiding from? Show yourself you don't know what you're saying. You are reading from your computer and what you wrote down. Okay? Oh, he doesn't know me yet. You people are here moaning. 
Eh? He doesn't know me, and you people are here moaning. Let me, let me keep on doing the job I'm doing on you people. Uh huh. Uh huh. Send him to a school or send him to a refreshing course, a refreshment course. Send him to a refreshment course. Send him there to learn black history. Send him. Oh man. I'm going to English. No English. Oh yeah, what? You you are big fools. Uh -huh. Oh man. Oh man. Oh you bo. I'm packing just with no way they go with fool. Just where they go with fool. Where they go no with fool. Not in this planet Earth, on this planet Earth. Uh -huh. Why would I compare myself with someone that doesn't know black history? Huh? George, George Tabubo, why would I compare myself with someone? Am I that low? Am I that cheap? Am I that cheap to compare myself with someone who doesn't even know his own history or lying to you about your history? Come on, call me up, boy. I'm coming. I'm coming. Imagine. You can't withstand me in five minutes. In the heart and come on. Come on. And I see the link. Why don't you use the link and come on? Your phone know the work. Judas, you are the mumu I ever seen. Ndoibo. Just watch the English. Watch it. Okay, my brother. Okay, let me send it to you. Um, 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 you are shallow. Stop this black history before you fuck yourself up. Stop. Hey, if there is only one man in Igbo land that will stand and defend his land, it's me. We've been warriors, we've been fighters from time immemorial. While your father, your ancestors were selling us out, working with the British, just to get a certificate as a warrant chief. We were fighting them. We were in the battlefield. We were in the forest, in the bushes, fighting. Your ancestors were the one pointing to them. See, this one is a doctor. This one, Budibia. How do you think we lost knowledge of most of the things we used to farm? Huh? How? How? Tell me, how do, when did we descend? When did, when did we descend to this level? When? When? You are going on the can. We only end up exposing yourself as a weak person who knows nothing. Okay, another person is, is trying to come on. You will end up exposing yourself. Guys, I, guys I'm sending you the this thing now. You will end up exposing yourself and nothing more. Say what you know and stay the hell out of black history. You, do, you are not even in a position to tell us about black history because your ancestors' hands are soiled in blood, in the blood of your people. Do you think the white people left those that were selling their, their brethren to them and made someone who wasn't selling his, his, his brethren to them a, a warrant chief. What, I haven't heard this one before. I haven't heard this one before. Who do you think they will make a warrant chief? Who do you think they will make a warrant chief? The one selling out his people to them or the one who is not who wasn't doing it? How do you think it? Guys, let us stop embarrassing ourselves. Enough of all this insult. Hey, if you don't have anything else to say, 
step down, give another person your, your rulership. Say something else. Spend, spend two years talking about Jubilee as Sudan. Look at the left ear. Look at the right leg. Why is he not putting on a, a, a socks? Buhari could be dead currently, but why wouldn't anyone take it seriously anymore? Because we spent two years telling them Jubilee as Sudan. And the same Jubri went and met Donald Trump. You think a clone will meet Donald Trump? Is it what you are trying to tell me? Who is calling me? Hello? 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 I can hear you. My brother, I'm not going to tell you about the topic if you did not start from the beginning. I'm sorry, it's a debate I'm 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 hosting, and the people I'm hosting run away. I'm not uh, doing it uh, via audio call. It's video. Yeah. How am I criticizing that? Please, if you want to come on, call on video. I just sent you the link now. Come on video. Come on video. I'm not going to. I say, come on video. Hey. You're asking me my own phone. Why are you calling me? 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 I will block your number. This is my phone. I've sent you the link to the video. Come on video if you want to speak to me. I've sent you the link. Why are you calling me? Guys, they are empty. They can't, they can't do shit. They have nothing. They have no leg to stand on. They have no leg to stand on. Why are you telling me why am I criticizing the agitation? What agitation? I'm telling you the black history. You people are making mistake on. You are there telling me criticizing there. What agitation? What fucking agitation is that that I will have to sell my identity to get? F that fucking agitation. F that fucking agitation. Fuck it. Seriously, these guys really need to go fuck themselves. If you are not ready to learn your history, how do you think you know where your future is? How would you know the enemy you are fighting? You don't even understand the enemy you are fighting. How are you? How are we, am I expected to take you seriously? How? How am I supposed to take you seriously? Hello. Hello, my brother. Yeah, hello. <clears throat> Good yeah, morning, welcome. my brother. Yeah, you're welcome. I greet you. I yeah. greet you. Um, yeah. Um, first of all, I want to thank you for for your time and um your effort in trying thank to you. lecture some of uh, our people and in trying to remind us some of the things we know. Um you know, like uh, we usually, uh, we, like I used to say, sometimes, you know, um, lies has become the truth and people Hi. don't know anything. Um, first of all, I want to say that I'm not here to discredit, um, I'm not here to discredit Nam De Kano, but, um, you know, it is better if you, if you are talking about Buhari, Biafra, whatever, you concentrate on that. Um, but when you want to talk about slavery, at least to some extent, some of us or most of us knows a lot of things about slavery. You know, I, I told a story about how my grandfather, yeah, my grandfather and his brother uh, wanted to, um, to be kidnapped. 
And um, I was told a story by that same my grandfather in Enugu. You know, I know about, I also told a story one day about one of my friends whose father is Eze, somewhere around Ihiala. Eh? And mm -hmm. this, my friend, <clears throat> this, my friend was um, telling us about slavery. One day we were discussing about slavery. And then he mentioned how his father, who was one of the Eze, was having some of these eunuchs, and I will bring it yes. to so what I want yes. to say, was having one of these eunuchs, yes. who goes to yes. go and steal people and kidnap people. And in Igbo land in those days, they have various kings. In fact, almost all of them are doing the same thing for the British. Okay? Of who course. Would, who would go who would go and kidnap people. Some will leave, some are from Anambra, some are from Abia, some are from Imo. They will be going to another part of Igbo land to, to kidnap people, and the people from Enugu, or the kings who also with their own eunuchs, will go also, it's like hunting. And sometimes when they are coming back with the people they kidnapped in chains, the other eunuchs of the other kings, sometimes they will fight and take the slaves that belong to the other group. So this guy was telling me this thing. And I, I, and he's my friend though. And I shook my head. I said within me, so this, I didn't tell him that, I must be honest. I said, so this guy benefited from slave trade. Uh -huh. You understand? He was my very good friend, but that day he mentioned that thing. I said, wow. Now, what I want to say is, you know, there were, there were times Nam the Kano will mention um, there was this man who is something he was appointed something by the government Oyama you know Oyama, mm -hmm. somebody Oyama yes. that Oyama is the son of Oyama Neke and Oyama Neke used to be one of those um, one of those um, I think he was Eze too so the point I'm trying to make is that even Oyama Neke also had eunuchs giants who go to kidnap people. You understand? So the same way Oyama Neke was the king and he had eunuchs, the same way any Eze in Igbo land today, even the one that died yesterday, all of them partook in this slave um, trade. They were the ones, every of those Ezes were the one, they were the warrant chiefs who were converted kings over their people, to rule their people. They were the ones who were using eunuchs to go across all the Igbo land and kidnap people in their farm, young boys, young girls, everywhere. The ones in Abia State is going to Anambra, Enugu, and it was like a very big farmland. All these um, Warren chiefs who became Ezes were going everywhere, coming everywhere, kidnapping people using their boys, you know, their kings, in their what they are. They are Islam. How did they, so, don't you see the size, their sizes? Have you not seen their sizes? Those kings, those ancient kings. Yes, yes. So what I'm saying here, what I'm saying here, uh, you see, let nobody open the can of worm because some of these things are saved in our DNA. Even oh. if we don't know anything, some of us knows about slavery very, very, very well. You understand? And my jurisdiction fall under the jurisdiction of um, Oyama Neke. And in those days, that Oyamaneke of uh, um, uh, um, of uh, Oyamaneke of Eke, he was mm -hmm. so dreaded that even the mention of Oyamaneke in my side, in my area, you, you, that is, you tremble. You understand? Even up to when I was going to um, primary school at a central school, Natch, in Udi, I used to trek with my leg. We were always afraid because of kidnappers, we were three. Myself, John, and Nebechi, we were three. So, and, and it, it was like something like about 15 kilometers. We always trek with our 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 apathy yeah. on our head. We were always afraid of kidnappers because they were still kidnapping. Even though slave trade had ended, but that kidnap trade was still going on at that time. So the point I'm trying to make is, you better go and brush your teeth before you come and open your mouth in public. Do something that the younger generation didn't know. Don't delve into the area that most of us even suffered from. Now, 
If you are living in a glass house, don't throw stone. You uh -huh. understand? Don't throw stone. We know we know how the kingship, the edges, which which some of them, including the Nam the Kano, he is from direct. In fact, he benefited from these things. This is the Anybody who comes from, from he this benefited. See, 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 my brother, my brother. Forget all those things. I know people will be throwing insults in left, right, and center. But, 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 you know, let's be careful. Let's be careful because the IPOB of freedom we are talking about can even resort to something else. Yes. That, that all of us will, become, will begin to be so messy. You understand? We begin to remember the olden days. How dare you tell me? How can my father sell my, my, my children? No, they, it was people who were coming to kidnap people. Uh -huh. It was people, it was the it was the eunuchs, the Mandia Pilamo, who the the Ezes we are using, the kings we are using them to go around and come everywhere and kidnap people for them. It is we are not that bad that a father and a mother will begin to sell their children. Of course, I'm not saying that there are no bad people who now begin to collude with those um, kings yes, and those course. eunuchs. Yes. yes, but the people, the people whose business it was to go and kidnap people were the kings who were using their eunuchs. And that's just what I want to put straight here. And I know this very, very well. I know this. In fact, my grandfather and his um, brother, they wanted to take them, but the the their 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 uh, their mom's father had to come to their own village with Ogilis, with Ogilis, and and put Ogilis in Ogilis in their compound and go and warn the other. There's one other uncle who was even older than them. Say so the day, the day he looked for for Meniru and uh, Adinde. The day he looked for Adinde and Meniru, his younger brother. That day he will come back and look for his Ogilis. So, you know, mm -hmm. we know about slavery. Sometimes we want to keep our mouth shut because some people who benefited from slavery are some of our friends. You understand? Yes. Like, like I mentioned to you, I have a friend whose father traded in, in, in slavery. He, whose father had eunuchs who were going to kidnap people for the white stupid people because it was those white people who made them warren chiefs and kings over their people. What the hell are you telling me? So, so um, uh, let me just end it there. Let me just end it there. It is better everybody, you go and learn, go and learn history. If you don't know history, ask other people. You understand? If you're looking for uh, anything, look for it. Don't, don't just claim to you know everything because there are some things which you don't know. There are some things which you don't know. How did some of us travel to... How did some of us travel to the Western country? Some of us traveled by ourselves. Some of yes. us were sent by our fathers. Some were sent by their fathers who were who were rich men. Some were sent by their fathers who were kings. You understand? But some of us went and did everything, our money and everything, and we traveled and, 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 and came back today that we came back to Nigeria and relocated to Nigeria. So what, what are we saying? So slavery is not something you will come and, and want to tell us that you are now the lecturer, you are now the king. I mean, you are now who knows everything, who should teach us, who should, you will now begin to put the Bible to us. We are suffering mm. because we sold yeah. our own. What the hell yeah. are you talking about? Who wrote the Bible? Who wrote the that Bible you are master. putting to me? The for? same slave masters. The same slave master who wrote the Bible and you are telling us because we were sold in this. That's why we are suffering. Yeah. My brother, my brother, I don't know where we are heading to as, as a people. You are putting the same Bible, you put um, uh, Exodus, you put this and put this. Who wrote the Bible? Who for all on Nan Nagi had their Bible? Oh. Is it your ancestors who wrote the Bible? Where the Bible was the Bible not written by the Western people? The same Bible you're putting for me. The Torah, who wrote the Torah? Who wrote the Quran? So um, um yeah, I just felt I should come out and um say something. And um, once again, I thank you for your time and um, all these things you're, you're doing. Um, it is better our people begin to... I know our people are now so sentimental and emotional. Everybody, mm -hmm. there, there is need for change in Igbo land. That I know. But because of that need, if anybody come and tell our people anything, you know, 
they wouldn't even make um, a check. They wouldn't even investigate to find out if this thing is true or not. There are people who don't take everything you tell them, and I'm one of them. That doesn't make me that you're not my brother. You may be my brother, you may be even my mother or my father, but it's not everything you tell me that I'll swallow. Ah. So thank you so much, my brother. And let me not take much thank of your you. time. Yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah. yeah. Bye bye. Thank bye. You. Yeah. My people, you see, yeah. Now the can have bonita when you hear now. Quick fragile, aja no, you can hear you know now. Now you can now. Aja na ha kwa de ya. Iya gina ndi Israel unu ezuzu. Unu yani aja unu ni shi unu koga u. We will still tell you people this. The Jews, the Jews, this Israel, the owner of Israel, the Rothschilds, they ran slavery. Now them they buy you. Let me tell you, this transatlantic slave slave trade was started by the Dutch West India Company and Dutch East India Company. Who are the people that formed? Who were the people that formed those companies? They were the Jews that were expelled in from Portugal and Spain. Then they went to the Netherlands. Those of you in Holland, go and check. Go and check who owns Amsterdam. You people are saying, hey, the, Span the, the Spanish people went and founded the Netherlands. No, it was the Jews that were, that were expelled from, 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 from Portugal and, and Spain. Go and check the history of the Jewish expulsion. And when we are talking about Jews, we are talking about Kazarian Jews, Ashkenazi. They have a center here in Turkey, in Galicia. They have a center here. Aji ina hai ekponi enu. Ekponi e yana nyagi kahanta ni nena nao. Eko kwenye ke ebu putu unu. Josu jikwe wano. Kwa wakwa look at the left ear. Ka ndi nege nke ha gere uya. Don't come, don't assume that Igbo people are stupid and we're dumb. Okay? Don't assume that we are stupid or we are dumb. We are not. We will teach you that history. More than you. Hey! Guys, let me tell you people something. As an Igbo man, I am a bona fide Igbo man. I will, I will never apologize for being right. Never. 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 I will never apologize for being right. Leave all these nonsense things that people are peddling around. Sue me if I lie against you. The Royal African Company was later, much later. Much later. That why do you think Shell is Royal Dutch, Royal Dutch Shell? Huh? When those people bought into the title of nobility. Into the title of nobility. Also again. My people, <laughs> hey, everybody respect yourself. In French, respect yourself. Kwairu onwe gugu, jewe gewe, gewe kwe the left ear. Jewe gewe the left ear, newe the shoe, newe the legs. Newe the face, newe the necks. Newe the hole on the neck. It is better, no matter how absurd it sounds. My people, we sat down and was listening to that Jubri and Sudan. We shut up because they were like, hey, no, you don't know where you fight it. It's like you're fighting your brother. No, 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 no. I will not feed my people lies. I will not feed my people lies. I will not feed my people lies at all. One day, when you open a mother game, put our me we are. How much did they pay me? Okay, for te to tell you the truth. How much I was paid for telling you the truth? Huh? Is that so? Is that so? Is that so? Of course, dear man. Of course, dear man. One day, yeah, but when do you go? I don't want to call on sense. I'm not going to be here on the side of Africa. I'm going to Africa. I don't even know how to. You couldn't move on the toll. I'm going to Africa. No, no. So cool, you go down. Cool, you go down.
cool way down. Wait, I'm coming. Don't worry, the Tanya does. I de chaya dozo and mabia. I de chan ka no dozo. I'm coming. All those my friends that I sent uh, the link, I don't know why you people are not coming. So Buhari is alive. Oh, channel. If we had pushed back, if we had pushed back, we will not be hearing this nonsense. We will not be hearing this nonsense. We will not be hearing this rubbish, this bull crap. We will not be hearing it. Empty, empty vessels making noise everywhere. Guys, I think uh, my friends uh, couldn't uh, join. Uh, guys on YouTube, I thank you so much for joining. Please like and share it if you like what you're hearing. We'll be bringing, drawing it to a close. Tell your Namdi 